You know how you watch one video and you don't click on another one and YouTube will automatically play a next video? That's what happened and it played this video with Chef Bobette. If you don't know who she is, she's a 70 year old vegan chef in California. Okay, and um, so I'm listening to the video. It's just kind of playing in the background. At one point, he asked her if she has any work done. He's like, is this all natural? And she's like, no, no plastic surgery, no work done. She has work done. So there's this thing amongst the raw vegans and the vegans and the ladies. There's something that, you know, especially someone like Freely, who's like so militantly natural, like no makeup, no olive oil because it's lamp oil, no eating oats because you're eating the babies of the oats and it's just not natural. It's like they don't count this one procedure as being so unnatural. When I would consider it actually less natural than an actual full-blown facelift. Because with a facelift, yes, they're slicing and dicing, but there's nothing implanted into your body. Like they, it's a nip and a tuck. I don't consider nips and tucks and slicing and dicing and lifting and snatching your sagging skin to be as unnatural as getting something, you know, foreign put into your body and just letting it just sit in your body. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The chef I bet clearly has. She's a 70 year old lady. Tanny Raw, Freely, Kara from Marcus and Kara, like they all have this and they don't, they're like, well, that, that doesn't really count. That doesn't really impact the overall youthful appearance that I supposedly have. Those things be sitting all the way up, affecting your entire silhouette and giving an illusion. Okay, again, Chef Babette is 70 years old. For, now for me, there's not a single doubt. In, you cannot convince me that what she has on her chest is natural. You can, you can never convince me of that. Sorry, um, I would never buy that. Ever, ever, ever. Because number one, she's 70. Number two, she wears like tops that are somewhat revealing sometimes and then she's exercising, sometimes jumping up and down and lifting her, her body up and down and them things ain't budging. Okay. They're not even, there's no jiggle at, at all. At all. This is not natural. Okay. So I'm going to just you hear exactly what was said. I'm not going to hit play, um, with this up on the screen because if I do then YouTube is gonna um if you play parts of videos from like big channels like this like the doctors and stuff they will um copyright it like immediately like immediately as soon as you upload it so I'm gonna take it off the screen and then I'm gonna hit play and you're gonna hear him ask her about plastic surgery or possible plastic surgery and she's gonna say it's all natural hey, that I, I have never seen anyone look more youthful than you do but that now I have to ask, as the plastic surgeon, this is all natural, right? And I have not had any plastic surgery. You're so sweet. Oh my God. I should really, well, no, no work done. Well, it goes to show that. I hope that you could hear that, but she said, no work done, no plastic surgery, no plastic surgery, right? So that was from like a year ago. So I'm like, okay, maybe at that point, because in the video itself, you couldn't really see her chest. It was like just her face and stuff. But I was scrolling through her Instagram back to like 2019 just to make sure and she, she already had these. She already had them. Oh, but you don't know for sure. You don't know for sure. And why are you attacking her? She's just promoting her diet and lying, in my opinion. I believe that she's lying because you're not going to be 70 with them basically touching your clavicles exercising and jumping up and down in sports bras and there's no bounce there's no jiggle there's no nothing the only time it actually moves is if she's like lifting a weight and then the whole um it will move as one full unit it won't you know because <laughs> the muscle behind it i guess is moving and then the whole thing will move as one you know functioning unit because that's what you got put in you got a unit put in and that's just my opinion okay so um yeah, we're, we won't get too much into the physics of how this is not <laughs> the physics of boobs and how this is not real, but this is not real. And then I uh, um, also want to show you another picture, which is definitely very old from like 2019. You're laying back, you're leaning back. And trust me, when she leans all the way back and then sits up again, it does, there's no movement. There's no migration of, of anything. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting this. I'm just saying if they ask you if you got surgery, you don't feel comfortable sharing that. Okay, I haven't touched my face. My face is all natural. I have not gotten any facelifts. I haven't gotten any Botox, no fillers. You know, my face is all natural. I know it looks good, but I have not done anything to my face. And I know it probably seems pointless and mean. Like, why are you calling her out? Why are you calling? They always say that. But if this was a vegan rule, you'd be perfectly okay with people just on TV lying and lying and lying. And nobody can say anything about it. Because to me, it, it appears to be a lie.
it appears to be because ain't no 70 year old chest body fat going to sit up and touch your clavicle and not jiggle and move around or anything okay and i know it in the vegan world this just like doesn't count as anything even in freely's meticulous and strict and stringent and all natural world if a girl told freely that they were getting their boobs done you know somebody said that people were um asking freely about it she was like oh just make sure you go to a reputable doctor and all that just make sure you go to a reputable doctor but then somebody comes and asks her about their um cervical possible cervical cancer oh just stop going to the doctor and eat fruit she's against everything but this why are they against everything but this and this is very this is something that's in your body that has so many ingredients and chemicals in it and some people's body cannot take it and some people's body can and they're perfectly fine but some people's body can't even take these these chemicals long term you know so why doesn't this count this this is very interesting i know vegan diets and stuff is usually the majority of vegans are women uh, i would say even the majority of that has eating disorders however they still want to have this you know thing that they consider to be so attractive so they want to starve themselves and then buy that i'm not saying chef Bobby is starving herself i'm just saying that this is just like a vegan thing a weird ed vegan thing where this is the one and only exception where you can do something unnatural and get surgery and and focus on your beauty duty ask freely about makeup oh hell no ask freely about breast implants well make sure you just go to a reputable doctor even though you can wash the makeup off at the end of the night the chemicals are not going to sit in your body year round 365 days a year you can take a, a week a month a year without wearing makeup and getting those chemicals but this is with you forever until you got thousands and thousands of dollars to get it out it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense and i'm not saying that it's going to be bad for everybody because some people get them and they're perfectly fine and it doesn't impact their health but some people their health is getting impacted from this you know but anyway that's it